So we're talking volleyball championships. Yeah, it, uh, it wrapped up over the weekend, a very mm -hmm. exciting time. It wrapped up with medals up for grabs in the gold medal final. The Lakeland College wrestlers were looking to make history by trying to win their first mm -hmm. national title. While the number one ranked team in the nation, the UFB Cascades, had their plans to try to turn bronze from last year into gold this year. The crowds this weekend have been stellar at Lakeland. Jim hope to give the home side a boost. Early in the first set, the teams would start out evenly at four apiece, but the Cascades really turned it up a notch. A huge block by Kira Newt, UFB taking the first set 25-12. The Cascades also getting it done on the serve. Katie Bilodeau with one of eight aces for the team from Abbotsford. They would lead 20-10. To, to set point, the two-time Canadian Player of the Year, Kayla Bruce, with one of her 11 kills, giving the UFB the second set 25-10. In the third, the wrestlers make it close. Ashley Lang with the kill to pull within four. But the Cascades were too much for Lakeland, winning it in straight sets 25-12, 25-10, 25-20. UFB are crowned national champions, and it's silver for the wrestlers once again. For more on the gold medal contest, we head back to Lakeland Gym, where Moses Waldo has post-game reaction. An electrifying crowd was on hand to watch the Lakeland wrestlers take on the number one team in the country, the UFB Cascades. Now early on it went back and forth, but UFB showed their dominance, winning this one in straight sets, taking out the partisan crowd. We did the same thing at Provincials. We got a silver medal, we turned it to gold. We had a bronze medal, we turned it to gold. It was our goal all year. It feels great. I mean, this was my last game of volleyball I ever played. I <laughs> I had nothing left out to give. I mean, I just feel so happy. We made them hit around us. We made them, they, We knew they wanted to hit line, and we took it. We knew they had to attack our block, and if, if our block held strong, uh, it was going to be a rough day for them. The swings that were taken, all the digs within the rally, uh, it, it, was, it was nuts. Uh, and I said to myself in my head, I'm like, if they continue to play at this level, we're going we're gonna to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, and that's exactly what happened. They didn't let up. They came out fired up from the start, and their defense was um, better than ours. So it's usually a battle of defense, and this time we didn't win. So many great memories. It's been an amazing season, best season so far. And I mean, yeah, it didn't end the way we really wanted it to, but second best in the country is pretty sweet too. The wrestlers will be without Summerfield and McGlattery due to graduation but the good news is for Rustler fans that Ashley Lang will be back for her fifth season and looking to turn that silver medal into a gold one. Reporting from the 2013 Women's Volleyball National Championships, I'm Moses Wildew with Newcap Sports. Thanks, Moses. It was an all-Quebec bronze medal match. The Sajep Garneau Alains in white taking on the Edouard Montpetit Lynx. The Lynx defeated the Moose in the provincial final, so it was sweet revenge for Garneau, winning in straight sets 25-18, 25-23, 25-20. Alice Cloutier took home player of the game honors with 13 digs and 11 kills. I said to the, the, my assistant coach, if we qualify to the national, uh, that's going to be a great year. We, we finished first of the league, we lost in the provincial final, but finish here with a, a bronze medal, it, uh, it's awesome. It's, it's all the credit to the girls. The Baker Hughes Bobcats were in Edmonton for Game 1 of the AMHL Dodge Division Final this afternoon, taking on the SSAC Boston Pizza Athletics. It was a close game that needed double overtime to be decided. The Bobcats, though, were on the wrong end of a 2-1 game. They trail SSAC in the best of five, one game to nothing, but we'll get a chance to even things up here in Lloydminster on Wednesday. The Bonneville Pontiacs were in Drayton Valley last night taking on the Thunder in Game 4 of their North Division playoff series. A win for the Pontiacs would clinch the series and send them on to the next round of the AJHL playoffs. The Ponts win in a very convincing Vincing fashion as they put up 7 against the Thunder. Jamie Johnson had a pair of goals and added an assist. Mitch Owlsley had one of each while Jackson Dudley chipped in with two helpers. Tyler Santos had a fairly easy night in net, needing only 22 saves for his second goose egg of the postseason. The Pontiacs will face the winner of Fort McMurray Oil Barons and the White Court Wolverines. Those two teams will play a deciding Game 5 on Monday. As the best female college volleyball players in the country battled it out for gold, there was another tournament going on in the Border City with an upcoming generation looking towards their academic and athletic future. Graham McCann has more. While one of the biggest Canadian college tournaments in the country was in the border city, high school girls from Saskatchewan faced off this weekend at the service centre for the SAS Cup. Uh, the intent of hosting this this weekend was to coincide with the 
uh, CCAA Nationals uh, over at Lakeland College and kind of make it a volleyball weekend uh, within Lloyd Minster here and we picked the 18U because we've had some girls that have played together three, four years now and kind of nice way to culminate their grade 12 years. Some college wrestler hopefuls participating in the SAS Cup had some time to take in some college games and catch a glimpse into their future, like Ashley Armstrong. I was first introduced to it by going to one of the wrestlers games at the college and I decided that I really liked the sport and I liked the mentality that the teams had and how they're very close-knit and I decided I wanted to be a part of that. My plan is to do two years at Lakeland College and then hopefully move on to um, U of S. The love of the sport makes the team very tight-knit. This has helped some players through their high school years, allowing them to form friendships as well as provide focus and confidence for the future, both athletically and academically. We all have the, the one thing in common, and I love sports teams. Everyone's friendly, no one, there's no conflicts on the team, and we all get along very well. It helped me want to stay in school. It would give me a reason to continue going to secondary. Kelly plans to go to Lakeland College in Vermilion and has set her sights on making the Lakeland Rustlers. The Lakeland Rustlers came out as the second best team in the CCAA on Saturday night. After receiving her silver medal, Erin McGlattery gave some inspiration and advice to the girls who want to be a part of the excitement that she had experienced. You just manage your time wisely, take care of yourself, and believe that you can do anything. Graham McCann, Newcap Sports.